So I'm in a motherfucking car on my way to Kentucky, right? Mm -hmm. To hit a lick. Nigga, I get a phone call from a Lansing number. I'm going to school in Lansing at this time. All the shit had just happened though. I don't know the number though, but I ain't really nobody at the time. So if a motherfucker called my phone, I down there need to pick up. Right. You feel me? So I answer, they say, um, hey, how you doing, Mr. Wallace? This is such and such with the um, sheriff department in Lansing. Yeah, we got a warrant out for your arrest. Your uh, friend just turned herself in. And if you turn yourself in, it'll look good rather than us having to come get you. They got hung up the phone, my motherfucking heart dropped, nigga. It was a different ride on the way to Kentucky at that point, nigga. I'm like, I'm a wanted man, nigga. I wanna do this shit. Nigga, I'm a, no, I'm, I gotta do it now because I gotta go hit the lick and pay for the lawyer. I ain't got no pay. Thanks. So I'm like, I start putting a plan together in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna go hit the lick, sell that shit, pay the lawyer, fight that case up there. But nigga, my motherfucking heart is going right crazy right now because I'm like, damn, nigga, I feel like I'm public enemy number one mm -hmm. in America. I'm like, every cop in America is looking for me right no now. Cap, I'm scared as hell. So, boom, I get to Kentucky. I'm like, all right, bet, let me get on point. You know what I'm saying? So, this shit can be smooth. I walk in the jury store. They, why you got a hoodie on? Because it's hot as fuck outside. They looking at me crazy. Why you got a hoodie on? I'm like, well, I'm a boxer, and I got to lose weight for this fight and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I just been jogging and shit with the hoodie. They're like, all right, bet, bet, bet. But they still watching. I pull the hammer out, hit the glass. Psh, see all the Rolexes. Before I can even grab one of them bitches, I hear freeze. When when I hear freeze, I know it's a gun involved. That's all I need to know. I got the hammer in my hand. I'm like, damn, I should try this motherfucker. I turn around. I see a white guy born and raised in the South. I'm like, oh, this nigga killed me. Let me go. Quit playing with him. I drop the hammer. Get out. They call the police. Nigga, that bitch gets surrounded with police. News already up there. I'm like, damn, it's like they knew this shit was going to happen. Feel me, boom. They take us in. I get to talking to niggas in that bitch like, damn, what you think they gonna do? They're like, see, y'all niggas will be lucky to get 10, 15 years in this bitch. God damn. I'm like, oh, I ain't never getting out. And I got that case up there. It's over for me. It's over, stuck for it's over with. I ain't never getting out. Nigga, I made up my mind and accepted I wasn't never getting out that bitch. You feel me? So I'm like, damn. Oh, nigga, like, nigga, you better get in that motherfucking law book. Don't be talking to these niggas and hear these niggas don't know shit. I'm like, all right, bet. I wasn't doing anything at this point, nigga, so butt snitch. <laughs> so, right. so I look in the love book. I'm damn, all right, bet. Nigga, I start buying this shit. Now, I ain't got no money for no lawyer, so I got a quarter point, and he don't really give a fuck. Feel me? I'm looking through the law book and shit. I get to seeing shit. Now, I'm telling the lawyer shit. He's like, oh, you right. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck what you mean that? I'm right? You knew this shit before me. You supposed to, motherfucker. You feel right. me? Boom. I get to looking in the law book. My co-defendants in the law book and shit, nigga, we figuring this shit out. We finding cases similar to ours. Oh, we ain't never make it out the jury store, so they can't call it a robbery. Mm -hmm. This destruction of property at the most. Oh. Prosecutor, come. All right, bet we'll give y'all five years, 10%. Y'all do about nine months and then get out. But only way I can give you that deal is if you get everybody else to accept it. It wasn't nothing to talk about. I'm like, bro, if we go to trial, nigga, they gonna make an example out of us, nigga. We from out of town. We don't know nobody down here. We ain't got no lawyer. Right, we taking this deal, nigga, like, straight up. Ain't nothing to talk about. Mm -hmm. Boom. Them niggas was mad, but they like, all right, bet, fuck it. Them niggas end up getting out before me because I got the Michigan hole. Yeah. Michigan, come get me. I'm like, all right, bet, we got to drive up here. They let us stop at McDonald's, though. That was the highlight. Well, I've been locked up for about two years, <laughs> nigga. I ain't had no food hey, yeah, yeah. in a minute. So I'm what like, you get, though? They only let you get a McChicken and a McDouble. Shit, hey, they pick that shit. Y'all go look at the menu. You ain't looking at the menu in that bitch, no. nigga. So, boom, they come out with the McChicken and McDouble. Bang, that shit. I get to Michigan. Prosecutor come in there. Hey, man, listen. I got a deal for you. 18 months. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take it, if you make me go all the way to trial, I'm going to make sure you don't get out this motherfucker. I said, you know what? Give me the 18 months. I was ready to do 15 years, nigga. Uh -huh. Give me the 18 months. I was happy to take it. Jeez. Sent me to prison. I got the instantly. Seeing niggas I know from the hood and that bitch. Boom. Seeing niggas knew my people. So I'm good in here for real. So I'm like, I'm getting out of 18 months. Nah. I'm like, I'm about to nigga, start writing raps in this bitch now. Nah. I'm motivated because I ain't even give a fuck about writing little raps. So I'm like, I ain't never getting out. Fuck, I'm writing raps for rap to these niggas. I started writing raps and shit. 
I'm rapping that shit to niggas. Niggas like, that shit hard. Nigga, I had a list of songs I was going to drop. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm going to drop first day out, then I'm going to drop this, then that, then that. And by the time I get to this, like, 10 song, I should have a little buzz in the city. Yep. So, boom. All that time passed, nigga, I get out. I go to my cousin first. I'm like, cuz, let me hold 250 so I can pay for this beat. He like, all right, when you gonna give it back? I'm like, nah, I just got out, nigga. The fuck is you talking about when I'm gonna get $250 back, bro? Boom, he hold me. I go to my mans. I go to Blanco. Bro, I need to get a job or they gonna lock me up, bro. My parole officer, I just talked to my parole officer. He said, if you don't get a job, you going back in. Bro, like, see, I'm working at the golf course. I'm like, nigga, I'm coming up there with you. Thanks. I'm working on the golf course. I still can't get the money from none of my people to get this beat. They like, nigga, you better get a job, nigga. That rapping shit ain't gonna work. I'm like, damn, nigga, this shit gonna work. Cause I'm about to make this shit work. Yeah. Nigga, I told myself before I got out, I'm like, I know I'm gonna be back in the streets when I get out. But before I come back to this motherfucker, I'm gonna make sure I give myself a chance to follow my dreams. You know what I'm saying? So when I do end up back here, if I do, I can say I gave myself a chance before I just jumped right in the streets. You feel me? So I wasn't getting in no street shit until I gave myself a chance with this rap shit. Boom. I go bump into JB and my Uncle Chuck. They already believed in me. They like, nigga, we know you gonna make it, nigga. Whatever you need, we got you. I'm like, hell yeah. See, nigga, we go see hell of a. We go get the video, nigga. We go get the producers and shit. Record first day out. And like 10 other songs. I'm like, we gonna drop first day out first, then this, then that. Ooh. Now I ain't got a dollar in my pocket. I ain't even get my check yet from the golf course. We shoot the video. JB grabbed me an outfit and paid for everything. That shit came up to like $2,000. Boom. We get the video back, nigga. I'm, in, I'm, I'm on a golf course at work. I call Blanco. Hey, pull up on me. We just got the video back and shit. We looking at the video. I'm like, nigga, this shit decent. This shit hard. You feel me? They might fuck with this. No cap. Nigga, and I'm telling my story because I ain't about to go individually tell people how I got locked up that I fuck with. So they just gonna hear it in the song. We like, all right, we gonna drop it tomorrow. We all work tomorrow, nigga. We gonna drop this bitch tomorrow. Bet. We get back to the crib. We like, all right, let's drop it. We dropped the video on this, on, um, on my man's channel and shit. I'm like, nigga, if I get 10,000 views in a month, nigga, I'm lit. They watching me. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way if I get 10,000 views in a month. Jeez. We watching the videos. I'm like, refresh that shit. See how many views it got. Nigga, that shit had 250,000 views, nigga. <laughs> like a week later, I get my first check, $300. JB called me. Hey, they trying to book you. I'm like, where? They like, they trying to book you in Oakland and in Ohio. Each show gonna give you 50,000. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. 50,000? They give me 50 bands. <laughs> nigga, we calling the promoters back like, damn, but I only got one song though. They like, we don't give a fuck. Just come perform that shit. Nigga, they gonna go crazy. Nigga been up ever since, nigga.